God has instructed me to stay here. And whoever wants to leave, you're free to go. But those of thinking of going, you came here to be tested. And this is a test. That we are worthy of the miracle that's to come. To play this guy who's the most complex guy I've ever played in my life, it's incredible. What family means to him is it goes back to his upbringing or lack thereof with a mother who's 14 and comes from a fairly abusive upbringing and the purpose and the belonging that he had so needed. And I think that's where you create this family. Don't drive through the night. I got a place not far from here where a bunch of us stay with an extra room if you want. Thibodeau's a drummer and just comes across David and, and all of his charisma and is just gonna spend the night with him and then sort of falls in love with the Davidians. The priest at the church on Sunday is not relatable, but this guy, Koresh, is a rock star who's preaching. It's very unusual and you just, for some reason, open up to him. You don't even know why. Steve, professor of theology, amazing. You lived with your wife, Judy, in paradise on the beach in Hawaii. Was that enough? Not even close. Not even close! For a lot of the people that were current when the siege happened were brought there by Steve. He gave a reassuring vibe to people that might be afraid of moving to the middle of nowhere and living in a shack. His relationship with Judy, they were thick as thieves. I mean, they really loved each other and they'd been trying to have a child. It's really important to them to have a child and they couldn't. I know you feel like this baby is a curse, but I gotta tell you, it's a miracle. The new light revelation that David was spoken to by God told him that he had to be in charge of fathering all the children. Of course, she gets pregnant immediately, and I think it was especially hard on Steve. But we, where are we vulnerable? Your sister Michelle marrying more than one woman is illegal. It's statutory rape or it's polygamy. Rachel is 24. She's been married to Koresh for 10 years. She was sort of leader of the pack of women, and she was the only woman that would stand up to him every once in a while, that would question his authority, that would always voice her opinion, even if she knew he wouldn't hear it. But I have a hard time believing that any woman would be okay with their husband having a relationship with her younger sister as well and having children with her. I play Rachel's sister and David Koresh's second wife, and she grew up here. This is what she knows. She doesn't think anything's wrong with it. She loves her sister, but I definitely think there is some jealousy there because of David, but it's not just her and her sister. It's all of the women. I think she loves David. I don't know how in love she is with him, though, because when Tibbs comes in the picture, she hasn't met another guy before, so she's used to David. That's all she knows. But then she sees this other guy, she's like, whoa, I like him. I'd rather pick him. What's that like, being married to David? It's like being married to the most special person in the world, but not being special yourself. Hey, it's John Leguizamo. Click below to subscribe to the Paramount Network channel on YouTube for more on Waco.